Hello, it's your friend and neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back for another episode of the History Comics Podcast. This time with another edition of the Classics, in which I'll be covering the Ghost in the Shell manga by Shiro Masamune, which was released from 1989 to 1991, and also the anime movie adaptation Ghost in the Shell by director um, Mamoru Ashii. Now, this is a great uh, one, of the, one of the great uh, manga and anime styles that really made crossover in America. And the story basically you can see, a, takes place in 2029, where a major of um, Major Kasagi is uh, tasked uh, by the Japanese government to track down this mysterious being called the Puppet Master. And it takes place in a world where cybernetics and being able to transfer your consciousness from a machine, one machine to another, has really taken over the world. And, and uh, Shiro Masami really gets into what a world like that is like with cybernetics and uh, consciousness and machines and what make what it means to be a uh, human especially when you find out what the puppet master is and what they what his ultimate goal is which is very cool and it makes more and more intriguing villains in the re, re, in the recent comic book history overall yeah this is a g- great classic series but also w- when you get into the anime movie from 1995 i actually argue this is one of the cases where the movie is better than the book because the anime movie by director amaramuro shoshi takes a far more serious tone and straight it's more like a straight sci-fi very much blade runner style film whereas the original manga by shiro masamune has the the classic uh does they have a serious tone but also has that mixed in with that chibi uh cartoonish bits at times which does work with some uh, serious stories. For instance, I just rewatched uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is a pretty serious story throughout, but has a, the funny little chibi uh, cartoony bits, which fits in with that. But what goes in the show, when you contrast it with the manga and the anime, the anime works better as a more st- much more serious story, getting the deep spit uh, d- discussions about what it means to be human and consciousness and what, it, and what happens when machines become self uh, self-aware are they now human and so forth so the cartoony bits probably won't, don't really work and uh, the anime movies really prove for that but still the both the manga and the uh, movie are great uh, reads and watches they're honestly true classics because they're both were the one to some of the big uh, things that crossed over to america helped really expand the manga and anime and to american audiences so yeah you're looking for a good manga and a great anime adaptation of a manga check out ghost in the shell because both of those are true classics Things are coming on the Nerd Bliss Podcast. We're changing up our presentation while keeping the candidness that you enjoy. We'll cover all your favorite shows and movies with maybe a few surprises along the way. And you, yes you, will have opportunities to be on our show on a regular basis. That's right, you've got the Zoom Pro account and we're going to use it. So be ready. Find us at nerdblisspodcast.com and esonetwork.com and on all the socials at Nerd Bliss Pod. Nerd Bliss, listen up. Now it's September 30th, 2021, time for my favorite comp of the week. Berserker by Matt Kind, uh, Keanu Reeves, and Ron Garney, number five, in which uh, the, the immortal Berserker uh, st- delves further into his uh, past life, including uh, specifically how being immortal affects him being able to have a love life. This book really goes really nice detail showing the consequences of what his immortality has brought, including some very tragic results. It's, it, of course, more specific ones, but of course, it's been explored with other books, movies about immortality and stories, such as The Highlander and so forth. But this one really does a good job of uh, really highlighting it with some great flashbacks. And, of course, brilliant art by Ron Garney, who is this a first class storyteller, beautiful layouts. And, of course, when he gets to the violence and the greediness, it's uh, second to none. So, yeah, even though, yeah, well, of course, it's still considered part of the crazy Keanu science, which we're all enjoying right now. But this is honestly a really good book in general, so definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, with some uh, great art and uh, writing, and let's keep more looking forward to the next one, especially with a nice twist at the end, which shows that the doctors who are investigating may, may know more than they know are letting on to them. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Berserker number five, great comic book to check out for this week. And uh, till then, uh, join me again next week. But uh, till then, uh, go and enjoy yourself a good comic book. And if you can, check out uh, Ghost in the Shell, both the manga and the anime, because those are true classics. <laughs>